So in summer, this is a lonely and beautiful place to be, but in winter, desolate and difficult to get to for sure. Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. In case you're new around here, my name is Jason and a few months ago I stumbled into the challenge of visiting the most remote spots in all the UK's national parks. Well I'm about halfway through that challenge but very early on in the challenge I was contacted by someone who stated that the most remote spot wasn't in Yorkshire, it wasn't in Northumbria, it was actually in the Forest of Boland and this is exactly where I am. Now the place I'm going to is described as the geographic centre of the UK. Not entirely sure on the science of that, but I believe it's something to do with the fact that if the UK was a cardboard cutout, this spot is where you'd put the pencil tip to balance it on. And I've never been to the Forest of Boland before. I've driven past it numerous times on the way to the Yorkshire Dales and straight off the bat it feels remote. You've got this great road to walk in on and that's fine. But the scenery kind of reminds me of the borders, so I think I'm in for a real treat. Well, the map doesn't lie. I've been going about an hour and a half now, and this is the first serious incline that I've come across. And in this weather, and this heat, it's certainly sapping. Now, I'm not gonna to complain too much about the weather because I never get it right. Just been waiting for a decent weather window to come and do this bit because the heads up I was given was it's best attempted after a reasonable dry spell. This is about the best we're gonna get. Well, I think this time must be it. You can see some four by four tracks going off over the moorland and I can see a marker up on the hill ahead and judging by the map I think this is the way I need to go so I'm going to press on and start thinking about eating getting some food on so these few rocks is Whitendale hanging stones it's the gravitational center of the UK it's certainly remote it certainly feels it but I don't know what's going on in the background with all these gulls there's dozens and dozens of them. They all seem to be a little bit agitated, making plenty of noise. I'm not sure what that's about. Not the easiest route to get here either. Once you leave the track at that sign, you've got to trust in the 4x4 track. It does pick out posts as you go along. It's here for a reason. It's probably here for the farming. It's probably here to service the grouse butts and the grouse shooting. You've just got to trust it. You get as far as the gate, pass through the gate, and then head towards the stones in the distance. It's not that far from that point. I'm just glad I had decent weather and it was fairly dry underfoot. So I would imagine this would be quite difficult otherwise. Well, I think this rock's gonna provide the shelter that I need for tonight. I've found somewhere around it that's probably dry enough and probably flat enough for what I need. So I'm gonna get my shelter up and then I'll bring you back then. Well, there I am, I'm all set up. It's not exactly where I wanted to be, but I think it's going to do a job. I've had to come up here because of the flying insects. There's loads of midges around. It's going to make it really difficult where I wanted to camp underneath that rock. So at least there's a breeze here and it's seeing most of them off. I'll just bring you around. I'll show you inside. So there we go. I've got my snug pack bivvy bag tonight. My sea to summit quilt, got my inflatable pillow, a Thermarest mattress, and I've also got a sleeping bag liner as well. I think if I'm too hot during the night, I'll take the sleeping bag out and just uh, get into the sleeping bag liner and I should be right enough. It is gonna be warm tonight. I think I might have overdone it, but there's no thermals, no down jacket and pants, so we should be good. Okay, it's about 10 to 8. I think it's about time we've got some food on. So for my tea tonight, God, these midges. So for my tea tonight, what I'm doing is using up everything that I've got in the kitchen cupboard 
everything that I've stockpiled over the last few months. So I've got a Puccini mushroom risotto meal from Firepot. I've had those before, they're pretty good. I've got a mini pepperami, and then it's nobody's birthday, but I've got a grenade birthday cake bar for afters. It looks a bit squashed now. Don't think I'll bother with a hot chocolate tonight, but I have got some sleepy tea bags as well. I think I'll have one of those. That should see me right. And I've got an assortment of snacks and bits and pieces to last me well into tomorrow. Well, as that sun's gone down, it's got a little bit chillier. So I've put my jacket on while I have something to eat. Don't think I've used enough water on this one, so it could be quite dry. There you go. Mm. Yeah, it is a bit on the dry side, but other than that, it's not too bad. So if you've enjoyed the video and not my cooking, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Have you been here before? Is this really the most remote and central point of the UK? And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification button, and you get a heads up every time I upload a new video. So what I'll do is I'll finish this and I'll start getting packed away, getting everything camp tidy, and then I'll bring you back once I'm inside the bivvy bag. Just look at how stunning it is out here tonight. Absolutely fantastic. Well, as you can see, I moved off those rocks. I wasn't entirely convinced it was going to do my thermo rest any good, being underneath that hard surface. I guess I don't have the confidence in it and I was kind of waiting for it to go pop. But it's lovely just lying here in the last of the light. Got the moonrise behind me. I don't think it'll be a clear night, but it's just lovely being out. And again, it's been a really long day for me. Finished work early. And because we've got the nice long days, I'm able to drive over here. It's not that big a journey. So I'm able to maximise my time out as well. And just like I am, be in the outdoors. God, it's fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy the last of the light. And if nothing else changes, I'll bring you back in the morning. Just hope I have a decent night's sleep. Well, I've had a cracking night's sleep. I was really warm in there, but not too warm. I just shipped down to my duds. That sleeping bag is absolutely fantastic. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't want to get up. Oh, this is incredible. What a morning. So I think what I'll do, I'm going to pack up my kit and then I'm going to get a brew on, a little bit of breakfast before moving away. Just pour that in there. Okay, for the most part, I'm pretty much packed away, which means I can sit here and enjoy the views and enjoy this brew. Well, I'm glad I chose to use the bivvy instead of the tent. Not very many suitable places to pitch last night. The bivvy bag was perfect. And like I said earlier, had a great night's sleep. And I guess these places are remote for a reason. The land's not up to much. It's maybe only good for a bit of grazing and ground nesting birds. It's generally wet and boggy and difficult to navigate, but I've had a great night out. This is perfect and a lovely walk back on decent tracks now in no rush at all and it's quite warm this morning out of the way of that breeze it's going to be another warm one hopefully some of this cloud burns off so this is a good place to leave it if you've enjoyed the video leave a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe if you've not done so already and i'll see you next time